Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space, complete with a small little exploration rocket out here going off to get ourselves some materials. Von Braun, of course, the pilot of that. Last time we managed to deal with the scourge of the carbon dioxide that was starting to infest a fair few of our bases. Uh, I have come along and changed a little bit of the automation here because this would end up triggering on and off every time the gas went past if it's like a broken line so I've just put a little buffer on there to stop that if you remember that from last time uh, and in Blagolia everything was working well we got the uh, the carbon dioxide pump down the bomb also working and today in Irigao I've got two things two things that I want to do first I wish to relocate my bees they're doing quite well over here they're dealing with a lot of the stuff that needs to be dealt with they're eating the uranium ore they're covering themselves with the chlorine gas and of course we will be coming along to deal uh, to dig out all of the other materials in here I might even just go ahead and start putting down some of these dig orders here I don't know what's happening with the rust I'm maybe that's something we can deal with later on later on as well but I want to move these bees down to here I want to like, draw a straight line all the way across here that's going to cause us some issues because it looks like this magma goes up higher than this magma over here maybe we'll just end up having two bee uh, bee I'm gonna call them apiaries we'll, we'll have a collection of beehives down here but the second thing that I want to do is uh, we, we got we got a little bit of a problem with our water tank and indeed just with water in general on this uh, this little asteroid over here so I want to come along I, I don't really want to dig out these fossils maybe what I'll do instead is put down uh, some some tiles the reason oh 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 that it flows no it doesn't flow it was just the uh, it was just the automation being put in place so this is actually in fact the five would have been fine uh this is what called us over here it was a small alarm uh this is the alarm that we set up last time of course it had been disconnected and reconnected to uh to change the uh, the automation signal here uh and that's telling us that there is too much carbon in here so much carbon that uh, the gas vent cannot output uh that's fine I know about that. What we're trying to do, what we're trying to do is dig underneath this water tank here and replace all of the tiles with airflow tiles. Someone's already come across and done this. Okay, that is beautiful. I like that very, very much. Uh, but I would also, as I say, like to stop duplicants dropping stuff from the top, from the ladder, because that happens. You know, they're, they're, they're walking along, they're enjoying their day, nighttime gets cooled, or they need the toilet, or they run out of oxygen, or so something happens to the duplicant, and they, they drop their materials. And I've, I've got this bit of fossil down here that's been collecting stuff but you know what I think we can do better I'm gonna go ahead and pop this tile here and then this tile here uh, they can climb down jump over and jumped on uh, this will catch materials this could possibly catch materials I don't know whether that would be needed I mean maybe we could put even another one over here but once that is done we can dig out the fossils and start making our way along the bottom here for two reasons I want to one connect up this entire ocean I'm gonna call it an ocean of spilt water over here to to this pump this this is our major pump that goes up towards our oxygen supply f6 please uh, it gets desalinated oxygenated uh, it also then goes off to be turned into ethanol um, and and also clean up some carbon dioxide over here. Then we'd also have a small problem. Where we've been making the satin critter traps nice and cold, it needs to be cold in here for these creatures to even exist and then go around and eat these creatures. Yes, yes, yes. This is just a uh, circle of life situation over here. Unfortunately, the hydroponic farms, they have also been getting quite cold and the cold has been leaching down. So uh, maybe we'll just end up moving all of this up one block uh, but I, I need to start sending my duplicates around has these blocks been built already I do not know who is on the building team at the moment but man they they really are quite strong on this uh, asteroid uh, I'm, I'm just gonna ask why this hasn't been dug it's unreachable dig okay let's uh, let's put a little ladder in like that and see if that will actually get worked on uh, I don't know who 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 is let's have a look spitzer it, was that an unreachable dig situation though mm, are we gonna have to put in an exosuit that would make me kind of sad if that's the case but I would also understand well then how did this one get replaced 
ignore ignore the build order. Let, let's just go ahead and dig and see what happens there. So like, Spencer comes along and makes this ladder. Why not that? I, I don't know. I, I am very confused here. Uh, obviously, the breathing situation is a bit of a problem. Eye irritation might also be a problem. Uh, I wonder whether, yeah, Hubble could come along and do this. Let's uh, let's get those on high priority there. Uh, and then we'll have a slightly shorter route. Just, it's only a little bit shorter, but it will indeed be shorter. Let's cancel that. It doesn't matter. I'm actually going to be attacking this from both sides. It, it kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense. I don't want to expose uh, my big pool here to the under pool if I can avoid it. It's more, more so I don't want to drop more water down here than I need to. You can see there's going to be empty space, and I'd rather be taking the water from over here to fill that up rather than just dropping fresh water down on top of it. So while Spitzer goes around and does the work that he can, let's go have a look on Reverse Lynn. I only really want to observe here, if I'm to be honest. I'm not going to try and give them more jobs. Yeah, because I want them to come along and start filling in these tiles here. What's Kelvin doing? Picking up the uh, the sulfur for the ranch supply. Uh, I've noticed that we've got huge, great big chunks of incredibly hot obsidian here. So I think I'd like to start segregating this entire area off from all of the hot stuff and then just kind of dig it all up and then maybe maybe we can actually take this place over as part of our base as opposed to being an absolutely unmanageable hellhole like we have it right now like this sulfur back here not not ideal i'm surprised it's not all drifted away we are down to micrograms and it's been like this for i don't know 100 cycles 200 cycles it's tempting to try and condense it somehow but all that will do is end up chilling down my magma again uh really why i want this sulfur to be gone is so i can start putting down tiles again and pushing everything forwards because I, I really we, we got, got to get rid of this magma it's been here for 1500 cycles now we, we need to get rid of it I'd also like to dig through here at some point and let all of this stuff free maybe this one as well we, we, we need to get all of the magma down into the uh, the hungry hungry machine here at some point but yeah, with all of the obsidian queued up for digging, I think that's all we need to do. This will take obsidian, right? Let's let's have a look and make sure it's been set up before. So it doesn't look like it is. Okay, we'll go obsidian, and then hopefully when they uh, they tidy up this place, uh, it will end up in here. It's sweep only, but we can we can sweep. That's fine. What I might want to do is turn the obsidian off of this one outside the hot area uh, because my greatest fear with the hot materials at the moment is that they c come down and drag it through this area. Uh, we are using liquids put down in strategic places like this little corner corner place here uh, to stop the flow of hot gases in and out uh, and uh, if they bring some ridiculously hot uh, materials through here they can turn this liquid into vapor uh, and then it's not providing a very good barrier this is also somehow fortuitously set itself up I'm not gonna mess with it it's good it's uh, petroleum on the bottom a jump a little drop of water on top of it I didn't set that up it did it all on its own I'm gonna keep it because that is a good airlock if you will uh, back to Irigao Back to Irigal. So we've got, got the tile in place. No digging. Okay. The need for ladders here is actually quite strong. So if we can get all the rest of this done. Say an unreachable build. Of course it is. We don't have the ladder in place yet. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, down here, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. Obviously, I'm going to come through and just kind of like empty out the wolframite. But the ridiculously hot materials, like, I can't really expose this to this salt water or this brine over here. The brine was to fall on this, despite the fact that Abyss Light actually has a thermal conductivity of zero, meaning that that none of the temperature should actually transfer if you drop the brine on this hot bristolite, it will flash to steam. I don't know why it does that. Um, it's really quite annoying. It's not it's not what the game says should happen, but it is indeed what does happen. Okay, I've set something up to get us on our way in there. I've got a feeling I'm probably going to have to set up another atmosphere suit down here. There's a lot of carbon dioxide this way. It's a, a corner of our base that we have unfortunately just been ignoring. We've got an oxy fern here doing its best to actually keep this layer of carbon uh, up below this point here, which it has been doing well. I, I, I cannot fault it. It's been doing its job pretty well. It'd be nice to get some oxy fern down here. Maybe we could let that pip out because there is a seed right there waiting for it uh do we have access to pit yeah of course we've got a whole pit farm that's that's fine yeah let's do it let's 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 dig down this way and let that pip out and i bet he'll plant this oxy fern seed for us we should probably sweep up that millwood and anything that's not the oxy fern we should sweep up okay spitzer seems to be the only one working on the tank here that's 
kind of unfortunate. But whilst we watch Hubble and Spitzer go around and stop this asteroid from turning into a complete disaster, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that stopped my life from becoming a complete disaster. That's right, my patrons. Scroll up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can stay always up to date when it comes to auction not included and doing our very best to make sure there is entertainment for everyone out there to enjoy. If you enjoy this as much as I do, perhaps you'd like to join me in thanking my patrons from the very, very bottom of my heart because I really enjoy this, like really, really do. So thank you. Thank you so much. Obviously, getting regular water in my salt water tank is not the most ideal situation that I've put ourselves into here, but I, I think that's fine. But almost every situation where we deal with salt water, particularly putting it in the desalinator, uh, it will just pass through. The regular water will just pass through, and it will not cause any troubles at all. So that that job went and got done. I knew they were working over here. I ended up having to put the uh, the alarms on over the hip this side. That's why we ended up just like digging our way through in the way that we did. Uh, and it turns out because everybody was coming over here and i don't remember putting up the uh, the priority super high over here i don't know why they decided this was more important than than over this side no idea. Okay, looking at this area, I think there's a few more things we need to do to uh, guarantee that the flow of liquids can mostly come down here. Obviously, the, any anything below this little shaft way here is going to have to uh, bring an, extra, an actual pump in to start moving it around. But I think we can dig a few tiles out here and we will uh, almost definitely have ourselves a nice little waterway to, to try and get all of these materials out of here. We can take these walls back down that we put them there, so getting rid of them isn't a problem okay th this is looking good and maybe we could even submit that bio scan to get this door open and just just to have the whole flow start to empty out it'd be nice to have another floor to our base down here but you know what we've not done for a while let's go have a look at reverse and i bet they've done so oh <laughs> well, um, I mean, they've put in a couple of tiles. I've put in a few tiles. That That's good. We've not really got anything like sealing the base up right now. So I'm going to come over to come on construction errands. I'm, I'm going to be like, hey, could you just make sure the outside edges are are done? The, I suppose the other the other bits are okay. We could just wait for those to be done later. But the, those top edges, I think, or the outside edges, because this not really the, the top edge of this one. In fact, should I be doing these two in here? Because this is the space experience. Let, let's let's just do it like that and we'll see what they end up doing i've got a feeling i'm going to need to put a couple more uh, ladders there why are they sandstone because we've run out of obsidian that is why okay that's that's fine that's fine uh looking around the base we've got ourselves a little farm ticking over is just fine in fact what's just fine is an understatement 7.8 tons of sucrose there uh we've been making ourselves all of the uh, grub fruit preserve that's what's led us to have a quarter of a million uh, calories up there because the grub fruit preserve just doesn't go off power is running well carbon dioxide has almost all been eaten we've got a little bit of a, uh, a tower power tower if you will over there but i think i think we're good i think we're good on reversal in now okay but back to here again but why why do we have something entombed what which one where Okay, that, that's, that's nothing to worry about. That's not, It's just just a bit of snow in with our bees. Complaining about the door. Oh, it, it's it's happening. It's happening. We dug the pip out. We let him loose at the oxyphone seed, and we made sure somewhere was... Yes, that's it. We made sure someone was uh, in the right temperature range, and now hopefully everything should be working. Yeah, we got ourselves a naturally... Well, a wildly planted oxyphone. That's... That's nice. That's very nice. I was thinking about digging my way into here, but I kind of like these little pockets. I don't know if I want to disturb them or not. <laughs> oh, oh, there's there's some bits of ice here that are significantly larger than they appear. Se seven tons of liquid of, of w water would be quite a bit. Seven tiles? Okay, no, no, that's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad, but it, it could be worse. I mean, seven tiles would still fill it, you know, up to up to the second line here, and that would then start melting a bunch of us. We might need to move all of this ice somewhere. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to move it over here, but like over here would be the ideal placement, right? That just just maybe maybe make a little dispenser for it. 
Yep, yeah, there, there it goes. There it goes. We are transferring heat from the abyssalite into the water. We're creating steam. Why is this happening? This, this should not be happening, but it is. So we just have to live with it. I knew it would be a thing, so I'm not that bothered. It is literally just taking a bit of the heat out from the uh, the area around it. I kind of hope that. Um, Spitzer's going to come along and do this before Hubble gets any further along. We'll, we'll just make that a slightly higher priority so Spitzer can get on it. I don't know what he was finding so important that was else to do, but we, we kind of need it. We need it soon. Okay, because I want to get rid of the water. Also, you know, let, let's go for a little bit of chaos here. I have decided to embrace this abyssalite flake and just kind of dig my way all the way through here and uh, see what happens with all of the liquid. So far, it's actually been okay. All we've done is changed a bunch of salt water and brine into regular water. We're trying desperately to be able to mop up some of this liquid, though, uh, because we want to move some of these bee tinies from up here. Some of these tiny ones down the bottom, uh, we want to be able to pick those up and bring them over to this little critter drop-off point here. Can't do so because uh, it, it's flooded. It's flooded. Uh, there's the bee tiny. We want those. By the power of keeping on trying until it let me, I've finally got some mop orders down. In fact, there we go. We can get more down there now as well. We should be able to start getting this uncovered and uh, ready for use. The next thing I need to think about is where the beta hives are going to be. Uh, they need a too wide space, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, too wide space. So we can, this one can go all the way up against the wall. The problem is we've only got wolframite, but I, I feel like we can make do for now. I just want to get the spacing. Ah, uh, well. I just wanted to get the spacing. In that case, let's just use a tile to know where everything is going to be located. We could get a fair few of them here then, in fact. I don't want that one. Uh, in fact, it looks like quite a nice space. Yeah, that that's good. We're, we're going to get a nice layout of uh, of hives here, um, with the last one being just in this space here. Okay, that, that that's good. That's a good layout. Of course, looking to maximize the amount of uranium being eaten by the bees. These bees will go up, they'll grab some uranium ore from whatever they can get, and oh, there, there it goes, and it will deliver it over to one of the hives. The uranium then gets turned into u enriched uranium, and a duplicate will come along with an ice cream scoop and scoop that out. Look, there, there it goes. It's a very energetic process. Boom. So much, so much energy coming out of there. But we get a whole bunch of enriched uranium from it. Wonderful. I don't know how to encourage the bees to harvest more uranium I, I i wish i knew the system i wish i knew the system uh so let's try and um auto wrangle any surplus i don't know how many are in here at the moment we've got eight of little well, 28 uh it's because they're going in and out uh so if i go for the b tinies and then just go down for three four let's see if we can yeah try and capture some of these creatures i'm a little bit worried that my uh, my ranching duplicates are going to get stung by the bees and i don't know what that will do Okay, we are in trouble. We've let too much heat out for too long. It's now getting to the point where people cannot survive down here. I need to cap this off and we'll just dig up the uranium. I was kind of hoping we could not dig up the uranium and in fact keep it nice and uh, intact for the bees because we're going to lose half of it when we dig it. It's just something that happens to all materials. Yeah, I know Spitzer. Spitzer's also been getting uh, quite, quite badly stressed at this entire situation. I kind of understand. And, you know, it's not been well managed. Uh, man management definitely deserve a, uh, a bit of an investigation. Uh, oh, this is just in. Management have indeed investigated themselves and found no wrongdoing. Okay, wonderful. Well, that, that's great. Okay, we're just left with scalding hot carbon dioxide now. No, no big problem, I suppose. That That's all fine. Just over on Blagolia, sorting out a small overheating issue, and we've had a, an archway light up with a Weezwort seed. That is unbelievably useful, and I think we're actually going to dump it over here on Iragao. I don't know what we're going to need, or is it Blagolia? Either one of these places could use it. You know what, I'm going to leave it here on Blagolia for now, because I can't think of what to do exactly with it in either place, but I've got a feeling at some point it's become going to become very, very, very important. 
So Chandra is going around and scooping all of these. Going to recover the breath, but are they going to uh, ever wrangle? Pen status okay. What if we go down to zero? Be tinies. No. Okay. Can we just wrangle them individually? Let Let's try that. Hopefully that will be a thing that we can do. Is this going to lead to to mass? Oh, is, is this going to be a problem? I, I'm worried that this is going to be a problem. Is she even doing the right creature here? Okay, so that that's one. Okay, it's 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 been been captured. It's been captured. No errand available. But if we come down here, this thing. Okay, it says it's there. Let, let's go uh, go Spitzer go. Let, let's try it like this and see what happens. I'm hoping the build orders here are enough to uh, entice the B tiny to be where I need it to be. So that that that's my plan. That's my plan uh where, where's the one that was tied up it's there in the background it's behind stuff that's kind of awkward okay we've got one bee tiny going down and there is another being delivered hopefully we should be able to see a nice colony start up from here all these materials on the floor is a little awkward oh of course they're sleeping because of all the carbon dioxide down here it's good that that is happening because man there is a lot of carbon dioxide but there's also a lot of carbon dioxide down here it's gonna take them a while to wake up have we already killed them has something gone wrong? I, I've, I've gone ahead and started more being wrangled and moved down, but they... Whilst I was watching up there, they seem to have disappeared, and I, I don't know where. I don't know what's happened. Okay, we've got a tiny, tiny, be tiny here. We're, go we're gonna follow. Well, I mean, we've got we've got a, a few of them to be fair. We're gonna fo use the follow cam to watch them and see uh, what what what's up. Why why did those ones die? I hope we will find out during this little exploration phase here. What? <laughs> they they literally all just died. Why? Is it the water? Is it because of the water? I uh, maybe body temperature two degrees. No, nope, they're gone. They're gone. Why? What What temperature do they need to be? Minus 26 over here, but that's not the de temperature. Okay, all right. It might be just a little bit too warm for them at minus 7 or 12. Yeah, okay. But maybe, maybe. Let, let's, try, let's try and mop this place up. Oh, we've got some solid nuclear waste here. When, when has that fallen down? Look, we've got another one over here as well. Is this uranium ore that has changed or what? It tells me we've got a bunch of contaminants in there. It's not really giving out much um, much radiation though, so I'm not that bothered about it. I do need to, to dig it out of the way and uh, continue the process here of, of cooling this place down. Somehow, like I'm not sure. Look, look at this place. We got we got to mop all of this stuff up. Okay, we've managed to get rid of all the major sources of heat and debris that were on the floor, causing us some big troubles. I think the next thing I'm gonna go do ooh, ooh, is, of course, we've got a whole bunch of heat that just kind of residual in the area that we need to get rid of. I can make a temperature shift plate, but more importantly, I can actually make that temperature shift plate out of ice. Now, I don't know if you are aware of this, but ice is inherently quite cold. It's just one of those materials. I know, crazy, crazy that. Uh, happens to hold uh, a fair bit of chill that holds back the heat, shall we say. Uh, so whilst we wait for people to come along and maybe put these lumps of ice in there, I'm really hoping that it's actually those lumps of ice up there, uh, I've gone ahead and done something on Pi Axlin. Uh, over here, the red bolt generator, well, we turned the radiation lamp off because we don't need to uh, to send any more materials across anymore because we've we've run out of cobalt. Like we, We've sent it all across and unfortunately our drill cone uh, has run out of diamond. We, we just do not have any diamond anymore uh, we, we took everything that was underneath I, I say we took everything I'm fairly sure if I went like super digging through here we could probably find a little bit more maybe not just immediately oh there's there, there's loads around there uh, and then also I think there's probably some down the bottom here somewhere but rather than just using the natural resources I've gone ahead and done a research this one here pressurized forging we, we'd actually done the majority of the uh, the research before we were just missing a few bits of I think it was the uh, the data analysis uh, but now that we've got the uh, the pressurized forging uh, I've gone ahead and put a diamond press over here this will solve two problems uh, two problems at the same time one it will eat up all the excess rad bolts that we've got kicking around that's going up all the way up to 75 okay that's beautiful uh, and secondly it will be making uh, the the diamond for our diamond drill cone over there which is very nice uh, refined carbon could be an issue but we 
are making a fair amount of it over on Reversal, in the place with all the magma. They are getting closer. To, oh, they've actually they've, they've done it. They've sealed this whole area in. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. But down the bottom here, uh, we, we have 9.8 tons of refined carbon. I think we're just going to start sending it through the teleport device over here. I don't. I never know where it is. Is it in manufactured materials? No. It's in consumable ore. Of course it's in consumable ore. Why, why would it not? Uh, and then we can get everybody to fire as much uh, compressed carbon, refined carbon as we can over to this thing. And uh, let, let's make ourselves a bunch of diamond. Uh, 100 kilograms a go and how much do we need? I, I've, got, I've got a feeling it's actually going to be a ton. So hopefully in the time it takes for the rocket to go out to the, uh, the, the swampy ore field over here, fill up its cargo bay and come back to Pyaxlin, the uh, the diamond press will have turned out a ton of carbon, a ton of diamonds. That's my hope. That's my hope. Back on Irrigao. Oh, Spitz is literally just turning up to uh, to freeze things solid. I don't know where the ice came from. If we have a look, minus five. It's not the coldest ice we could have had access to, but it, it's there. There's minus seven, minus ten. I, I kind of wish we had got that stuff, but you know, we'll just use whatever's around. So it's registering minus five. It's not passing over to all the materials i kind of expected it would the pneumatic door isn't even chilling i feel like it's not doing its job okay after messing around with the oh oh we've managed to leave it up there that's a little unfortunate is this guy wrangled or not i turned off the alarm just so it wouldn't be blaring over me talking and we've do dropped the b tiny but we've been playing around with the temperatures here okay that's fine that's fine let's uh, let's disable that uh, that wrangle there we don't don't need that i suppose uh, it says it's confined but i'm kind of confused by that because the door is wide open should we uh, i was about to say open and close the door but it's okay it's started moving and instantly falling asleep but the real question is the real question is can we keep its body temperature above zero degrees uh it's experiencing uh 18 16 this this is this is going up pretty quick which is uh, not ideal but the water is at minus three so hopefully we're going to just kind of level out our temperature of this bee tiny uh the reason i need to keep it that high is if we have a look do we have the actual yeah, no, unfortunately not. It, it just shows us this this guy here. Uh, livable range, zero, minus 0 0.1 is the upper limit. We, we, we need to keep this guy below zero, else it just dies. That's why we're making temperature shift plates out of ice everywhere. And we're, oh, look at that body temperature change. It, it is changing pretty, pretty fast, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, no, nothing zero degrees. Let's, 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 let's just hope. Oh, the, the tiny beta has just turned into the first stage of the hive. So I noticed that because I'm now trying to clean up a bunch of water that got spilled up here somehow. I can only assume someone was carrying some ice and it got dropped. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't like this coming in here like this, though, because it's uh, bringing uh, 12 degree water down into my, my cold area. It's already melted a lot of my plate. Ah, I don't like this at all. In fact, I am going to go uh, full blown panic mode hello can, can we okay there we go press that press this all right well this, this is very important to get this cleaned up like right now right right now Okay, interesting. So we've got Compton and Chandra up here dealing with the beginnings of the spill, whilst the Hubble and Spitzer are trying to contain uh, what was falling down. No, not not really uh, carried on like that, but it started off really well. It started off really strong. Okay, that's the end of that particular problem. But now I need to go around and pick up all of the water. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was go over, not to reverse, into Pyaxlin, see if we've uh, got any materials dropped off yet. Yeah, but when are people... Ooh. No workable orders. Why? I do not understand. We've got seven and a half. To, no way. We've got seven. No, that's that's how much we've got out and about. But like we've got uh, two loads of refined carbon, and we've got enough rad bolts for two. I, why not? Why why no workable order? Well, Franklin has the full mechatronics engineer. I wonder if it's actually something to do with research. Material study, virtual planetarium, mission control, geo tuner. Yeah, none of these say uh, they need. Well, I don't. I don't know that that they are required. Sorry for the diamond press. Oh, it's a thousand, not a hundred. We need a thousand. Okay, well, 
that that's fine. Let's just turn this thing back on. Because at the rate we're at without the radiation lamp, this one takes four cycles to even throw out the 75 rad bolts it will build up. This one takes uh, something like two and a half cycles to throw out 50. That's not ideal. Uh, thankfully, though, with Von Braun coming along to turn the radiation lamp on, uh, we are now getting 93 per cycle. So that that's uh, it should fire twice per cycle. Uh, and this one, not quite as often. Uh, but that's because it's a little bit further away. That that should get us up to a thousand rad volts a lot quicker. In other news, our second mass migration is underway. Let's also hit the alarm on that one, and then the people who are not wrangling can also come along and pick up. No, not not at the end of the day, my friends. Not at the end of the day. Uh, it turns out that uh, my timing was poor. Uh, that that's that's not massively unknown to be fair that that that's fine but it looks like we're gonna have enough time that maybe people can get this one job done uh, before actual nighttime properly falls and they lose any light or will to live uh but it looks good where is, is chandra done is chandra done she's like no i'm going for food now uh yeah okay that that's unfortunate what everybody else managed to get one though that everybody else managed to get one we gotta leave the alarm running until everybody's got down here because nobody is going to uh, uh, finish it when the allure of food is so strong oh no there, there we go we just dumped it there you know what that's fine that's fine i can most definitely live with that <laughs> so we've moved a whole bunch of bee tinies down and they almost instantly turned into beaters but they keep passing out from the carbon dioxide uh, and then consuming like just huge amounts of it look at it they're, they're pulling a bunch of uh, vacuum around them yeah look at look at all of that that is amazing i don't know whether this means that the bee tiny is actually going to fail to turn into a hive because it's overcrowded in this tiny room it's okay because this one grew into a fully mature bee hive uh, be yeah beta hive uh, and this bee tiny has come out of it and is moving around you might be wondering what all these yellow alerts are up in the corner well of course i forgot to put a cooling system in for our diamond press uh, i've got a bunch of uh, petroleum on the floor now and we're just expanding out the uh, cooling loop that was keeping the the red bolt generators nice and cool and then hopefully everything should be good uh, ideally before we fill these red bolt you know what i'm, I'm just gonna turn them up a little bit so that we don't end up wasting the rad bolts by firing them out when we've got nowhere for them the hard part is deciding what's fresh water and how can i jump it into the system there like like that that that's how i do it uh that should hopefully be filling up that nicely okay that that's great we'll let that turn over for a little bit and maybe uh, fill in some of the holes that i see in the cooling loop there uh and then split this out again when uh when the time is right okay that looks like that did it for us we're gonna set this back to 50 boom off they go we've got 34 left in there we're gonna set this back to 75 even though it's already fucked dang dang did we did we miss some that that's unfortunate that radiation lamp really does kick out the power and if you're not watching it you, you could just end up wasting rads do we do we want to watch this fire quickly let's just watch this fire it's one of, one of the great things in auction not included at the moment i can't see the actual boom there it goes i was about to say can't see the actual limit level but there, there it's gone uh storing 605 we, we're gonna have a little bit of time to wait there we're gonna have a, oh where did all this water come from like, like honestly what what is going on with this how how am i supposed to keep head ahead of this i i actually don't know i uh, that we can't we can't sweep this this is too much too too much i think i'm gonna have to just dig down here i, I don't want to do it but i'm gonna have to it, it killed all my beaters. I, I I don't even know. I just don't even. And that's just too much liquid still. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I've managed to find somewhere where we can mop up. So, I mean, this, this is going to take a while. What happened? What what even happened? Uh, given the lack of sweep orders around here now, I'm going to assume that some of the water we swap, uh, mopped up must have, like, turned to ice and back again. Oh, no. I didn't even know that could happen. I did not even know that could happen. Okay, back to our single bee tiny experiment. All right, this this should be fine. No problems, right? No problems. Uh, one of the problems we did have is I was dumping too hot petroleum in here. Uh, th th this was this was getting far far too warm. But it looks like maybe we we might even be able to see this 
firing in, oh, I mean, very shortly. Less less than half a cycle. I do believe this is the last one. Bloop. Great, great, great. The problem, of course, nighttime has been caught. So hopefully in the next morning we should see people coming along. Let's have a look at the work errand. Yeah, not allowed by schedule, but that still means that people are going to be trying to do it. I've got a feeling it's going to be Franklin when it comes down to it. But it might also be Curie. Where, where's Curie? She must be staying in one of the the rockets. It's unusual. Yeah, yeah, she slept in this one with Von Braun. O okay. Fair enough. If that's what you want to do, I'm going to let you do that. But more importantly, who's coming along to do this? No, no. There we go. Franklin, current errand. Now, here she comes. I've never actually seen this working on my own save before. So this... Oh, look look at this. Brutal. Brutal. But what, what's happening heat-wise, Diamond Press, I'm not seeing uh, anything really to worry about here. I, I'm not even seeing a temperature on this, this screen. Okay, this is good. This is good. Does this temperature just not exist? I, I could believe that. I could believe that. T 12 degrees. 12. Okay, that's good. Wait, so what? Where, where'd the diamonds go? Into the rocket. We're at 300, now we're at 200. Okay, that that's good. That's good. So there's that system ticking over in the background. Now we're waiting for... Ah, it turned into one of those. Why, why didn't you turn into the drone? I, I, I literally do not know. Ah, oh, I thought this guy was going to morph into the hive, but no, he's just become a normal beta instead. I wonder why. Why wouldn't he change? Oh, there's uranium everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I said that more as an offhand remark, being like, I've given you all you want. But, like, maybe they do want to be able to see their way to Uranium War. So let, let's try that. I've opened up the door. I've ripped down the door from above. It could have been the last one that we saw change. Had a little bit of Uranium ore on the floor. We've got, we've got loads in there. So maybe, maybe that is actually it. Maybe that's something to do with it. Uh, I can't find any information anywhere about how these guys change or not um if, if anybody has a resource let me know because i can't find it ah now he's changed into a beta as well i i don't get it i literally i just don't get it at all let's uh let's wrangle some more down and see if we can do anything with that oh 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 something weird just happened here but look we want to three hives are good this hive also good i'm not sure what's gonna happen to these two yeah okay they, they've walked away this one's also good uh so my plan was just to keep on delivering them until this happened and l look it happened all right that that is a beautiful so when we were putting these together there was a hole in the roof up here and the beaters kept on flying up to try and have a go at this pip i wonder whether it was because there was other creatures around that wasn't why they wanted to set the hive unfortunately i have no way of knowing at this point in time and with that i am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where we're gonna harvest the wonderful reward of this little little excursion we had here we're gonna start trying to move our way this way with the beaters we of course want to try and process all of this uranium ore into in uh into enriched uranium and of course we're slowly but surely emptying this area out i'm seeing a whole bank of sithene turbines up here of course a research reactor we've got some liquids that we can feed into it yeah i think i think this over here is going to end up being our heavy heavy uh radiation area but i will see you then oh am i gonna do that Bye. How is there sulfur? Why is there sulfur? What 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 is this sulfur doing here?